What happened? Ryan! My voice is gone. Ryan! Oh. Ryan! <laughs> Ryan! oh, Ryan, we've been waiting for you. What's on your head? Whatever you do, don't look behind you, Ryan. Why? Are you gonna? Uh, oh, it's, so I'm just buried in my own grave right now. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It's been a hot second, a couple weeks, uh, mostly because it's just been raining, so every theme park has closed pretty repeatedly. But I'm at Six Flags New England tonight because they announced two days ago that tonight is a coaster power hour. Now, if you're not familiar with what those are from being on the channel from before, coaster power hour is when Six Flags New England opens up their park for five hours on like a Wednesday or a Thursday, and it's just the thrill rides. The lines are pretty much non-existent, and you can walk on to pretty much any single ride. I am so glad they decided to bring this event back because I didn't think it was gonna happen. Typically in the past, they've done two or three a year, and I hadn't heard anything, so I thought it wasn't happening. So when they made that announcement, I changed all my plans tonight to be here tonight. So. I'm waiting for Robbie and Paul to get here, but I'm not waiting to get on some roller coasters. So let's go have some fun. Heading through the fog to my boy Superman first. Gonna ride it alone, but you know, that's only for the next half an hour. Look at how beautiful this is. It's just gonna walk right on. Not even wasting time. All right, I'm padding towards White Kids Lago now. I didn't film any of the things I did, but I went on Thunderbolt and Superman. Also, Robbie is here now. We're waiting on Paul. We're loving this because there's nobody here. It really is like maybe like 30 cars worth of people in the whole park. So we're gonna walk right onto everything tonight. We're not even stopping for food. There's a buoy over here. Wicked cyclone. <laughs> Wicked cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> to anyone watching this, I'm just gonna say, you're not gonna see any footage of these rides because we're just running from ride to ride. So I'm not taking B-roll right now. You're just gonna get whatever happens in between all of that. We didn't come down here during Fright Fest, but there's a lot more spooky things down by Pandemonium, including the spooky fog. But here's some scarecrows that well, that have been decorated. Ethan, the yeah, the guy that's Ethan. over at Wicked that's Cyclone him. right now, yeah, he, he put up these scarecrows around the pandemonium for the, what's it called? The it's scare called, no, it's coaster. It's called the scare coaster, yeah. It's scary like this guy. We can't <laughs> find Paul right now because he keeps texting us and I'm texting him. He's like, I'm at Brown Derby. I'm like, well, we're at Brown Derby. He's like, well, now I'm for the VIP lounge. They're like, where are you? We're like, we can see the VIP lounge. We can't see you. I can see him. I, hold on, I'm just gonna zoom in really close. There he is by the palm tree. We thought we missed you. I, Cause you said you're at Brown Derby. And we're like, we're at Brown Derby. <laughs> what I love about Coaster Power Hours is I can go on Thunderbolt and there's no line, which literally happens to okay, Thursday the year. God. <laughs> there it is. The only wooden coaster left in this park. Now you can't see it cause there's a gate in the way. Are you guys really excited for this thrilling ride? <laughs> <laughs> For anybody that is ever interested in riding the Thunderbolt, my hot tip is to always keep your hands on the bar in front of you, not up in the air, because it is a rocky ride. Superman. Paul and I are in the back seat because Robbie's all the way down there, waiting to go on the front row. So we're just gonna keep on going on the train repeatedly until he gets on there. That's the plan. We just did Superman three times in a row. Well, Robbie did it once, but we did it three times waiting for Robbie to get onto that front train. And it was like hot in some places on the coaster and freezing cold in other places. It didn't make very much sense. You're drunk, skeleton, go home. Even though there's no line, I'm still not going on Gotham Gauntlet. Catwoman's Whip is running though, which means we're gonna go on that because, well, we don't really have a reason other than it's Robbie's favorite ride of all time. <laughs> If Cam were here, he'd be racing to get on this. I don't know, does Cam have this credit? I don't know, Cam, do you have this credit? Like, he's gonna answer me right now. I really love Paul saying back row, but this train goes on forever. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been on that ride and I forgot that it slides around and I was like hanging over the edge. I was like, this is kind of scary for an adult. The best coaster here. Yeah, Cam, we did it for you. I like that these guys over here are having like a campfire <laughs> with no fire. <laughs> it's not how you make smart guys. Although one of them looks like they've been roasted inside the fire in the middle I was there. Looking at it too. Also, this this guy over here is just like on a bike, pulling an ET, ready to fly in front of the moon. The moon! ET. Are they putting the corpse in the coffin or taking it out of the coffin? Like 
heading up to Batman right now. I'm loving this. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No Six Flags trip would be complete without my pretzel. And we've only begun. I have so many to choose over a ton, but having trouble deciding which one. Oh. Do you just wave, Robbie? <laughs> <laughs> It's like the jumping shoes from the Mario movie. <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun. So Houdini is actually open tonight, probably because Midnight Mansion is open. So of course we're gonna want Houdini. Are you dancing? He is. <laughs> what? I said, are you dancing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's like this big empty room. Not as empty as that time it was just you and me, but still pretty empty. <laughs> it's so empty in Houdini right now. We all have our own seat. That's Robbie. There's Paul. And it's me. Robbie, do you know how to use the seatbelt? Yep, that's exactly it. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's ready to go backwards. See, he's honking the horn. <laughs> There's a scarecrow out here. I just know it. You guys think that Blizzard River's open tonight? Let's go on. <laughs> <laughs> We're headed over to Pandemonium right now because this is one of those coasters I never go on because the line is so long every time. As Paul just said, it's a rare walk-on moment. That was the best ride on Pandemonium we've ever had because it spun like crazy. Like typically we get like two or three spins, but it was spinning wildly the entire time. Robbie and I just started laughing crazily because we like couldn't deal. It was like a freaking centrifuge. It was yeah, yeah, right? It was so good. <laughs> that was the best ride I've ever had on that. Yeah, right? <laughs> Off to Wicked Cyclone, because it's a cyclone that's also wicked. They left without me. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I'm so scared. It's like, I'm alone. Where am I? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh there they are. We're good. Ooh, the moon. So they did Wicked Cyclone three times in a row, and I did it twice, uh, only because we just did Pandemonium, and we spun so much, and then I spun a bunch of Wicked Cyclone that even I was like, this is a lot of spinning for me. I could do Wicked Cyclone like six or seven times in a row, no problem, but not after spinning like I just did on Pandemonium. Are you what, did you think it was like gonna be activated by a button? Yeah, no, no, I waved the sense in front of the sensor. Oh. It's fade into my car. Uh, so thanks for watching this because I know it was a very disjointed video after not having any videos for a couple weeks. And uh, that's just kind of how coaster power hours goes for me because we just run from ride to ride. And typically when I'm not doing that, I'm in a line and I'll get a lot of B-roll during that time. And with this, it's only for a few hours. So you can, you want to try and hit everything or at least we want to hit everything that we can. And that is why the footage is the way that it is today. Anyway, uh, I'm ready to drive home and continue on with my birthday weekend. So thank you for watching everybody. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. You can follow me on social media. I'm most active on Instagram. And if you want to support me on what I do here, you can visit my Patreon and you can sign up for different tiers there that bring you extra content like extra videos and other things as well. So go check that out if you're interested. All right, everybody. Remember, every day is an adventure and live your best life.